Jumping into our spotlights, Jennifer. I'm just going to use this time like to say this effort is actually involve a lot of team, not other than FEM and Lotus team. So just want to give a shout out to everyone there. FEM, Beauty Editor, Lotus, kind of all this. Huge shout out to Travis helping us setting up all these tests so we can ensure like, you know, secure testing and all those things. A lot of efforts going to internal and external audits. Uh, Volker who worked on the IPLD part, make sure we actually use IPLD file point built in mind. And Kuba on the gas and a lot of like a fussing work. Nemo Dig on the Rust side and the proof things and Eva Dragon on the external audits uh, and also we have external people like uh, Falcon Foundation and Sondex like helping along the way. Just want to give a shout out on everything for the upcoming upgrade. Thanks. Ali. Hey, yeah, I think uh, Jenny and Molly, you've got to most of the technical updates. The M1 is in development freeze, so they're on to mapping milestone two, the big one, programmability. Um, the FEM Early Builders Program is awesome. Uh, we've got about uh, 20 builders and about 10 of them are building tooling and infrastructure. We've just released an RFP, an umbrella RFP for that, and already have two RFPs in, one for a high-level Rust SDK to make it easier for developers in future. And Zondax is building an assembly script SDK. We've got two others in the works, uh, probably like the hard hat of FBM um, from Bloxico, which is really cool. And also uh, one from a tiny go SDK as well, which is a super interesting one. Uh, and Jim Pink's been super active here. If you want to have a look at his little actor playground, he's Dockerized, Kubernetes, everything and put it on observable HQ. So you can kind of play around with a few demos he's made on there for FBM as well. Uh, we got a tweet out as well um, on some more of the things that the uh, people have been doing. I'll just post that in the chat. Thank you. <laughs> Woohoo, Marco. Uh, hello. So this is a spotlight on uh, Consensus Labs Udico Gardens. So Udico is in bot botanics like between lotus and plants, right? So it's a group of to which lotus belongs. And our Udico is a lotus fork in which we basically uh, implement hierarchical consensus. If you want to try and play with that, this is Udico Garden. It's a set of scripts that uh, basically uses Terraform uh, to deploy Udico test networks on AWS. And then you can play with uh, whatever we shipped so far, which are cross subnet transactions, standard mean consensus, and basically hierarchical consensus MVP. We are getting more people very soon. So we, have, uh, we are going to do long running tests on long running deployments and uh, basically at dashboards and monitoring and a few other things. So try it out. Thank you. Woohoo. Adeem. Yeah, me again. There was an implementer's day. It was on Friday. It was really good. Um, it was about four and a half hours, eight sessions from a lot of people from different companies. Um, about 50 people who showed up and were watching. A thousand people have looked at the videos so far. Uh, if you missed it out, check out the videos. It's on the IPFS YouTube. There's an IPFS Implementers Discord channel if you build or are interested in building IPFS implementations. And there is a sync every two weeks. It is on the IPFS community calendar. To Google it, you'll find the IPFS community calendar. Um, and a big shout out to Brendan and everybody who, uh, who helped make it happen. It's really exciting and uh, looking forward to seeing this grow. Great. Um, I'm presenting on behalf of ZX about the big data exchange um, that is a marketplace for uh, storage providers to bid to store charismatic public data sets. Um, this is a, a kind of like th think of the, the benefits of NFT marketplaces for discovery of amazing content, but for storage providers to discover amazing public good data sets um, that they, they want to help store and onboard and replicate uh, across the Filecoin network kind of paves the way for uh, bringing even more great data to the network and an even better onboarding experience for clients with really valuable um, data that, that we want to persist. I think they have successfully closed their first auction at 29 terabytes, uh, closed at 16 fill, paid by a real SP. So uh, awesome to see them hitting that, uh, that thing. Go visit uh, Big D dot exchange uh, to see how you can sell valuable data and how SPs can, can bid for uh, the opportunity to store that in the network. Really, really great to see this happening. Um, go check out, at, uh, the team will be at Phil Austin if you want to, to learn more.